Hello, my name is Madeline Gray. I'm Collections Assistant for Decorative Arts for North Lincolnshire Museum Service and I'm based at Normanby Hall. I'm in the Costume Gallery at Normanby Hall looking at this 1860s corset. Now if you were a Victorian lady, no matter whether you were upper class or lower class, you would always be seen with your corset. You'd be deemed to have loose morals if you were corsetless, just the same as it was improper to show your ankles. So even if you were of the lowest classes and you were out scrubbing your doorstep on a morning, you'd be seen in your corset. The corset really helped to uh, create the fashionable shape of the 1860s, which was a very much um, a cinched waist, big ballooning skirts and a lovely fitted bodice. If you were of the upper classes, you'd be wearing things like silk and velvet adorned with lace and beads and you'd have a lady's maid to help you with all the layers that go into creating this beautiful silhouette. So if we started to peel off those layers uh, and take off the bodice and the skirt, underneath you would see um, an over petticoat which is made of uh, cotton, usually white, easy to wash and that is to protect the, uh, the crinoline, the cage crinoline underneath. Uh, the cage crinoline was introduced in about um, 1857 to uh, replace the layers and layers and layers of petticoats that ladies used to wear to create this big ballooning skirt. Uh, so it was also originally apparently introduced um, as a, a class distinction uh, for the upper classes so that they could keep the lower classes at arm's length. Um, they were really popular, however, and the fashion ended up spreading to the lower classes as well. Everybody was wearing these, even girls in factories had these massive skirts. Um, so at its, uh, widest, um, at its widest point, its peak diameter reached about six feet, these cage crinolines. Um, so you'd have your, your over petticoat, your cage crinoline, and then underneath that would be your under petticoat. So it's like a crinoline sandwich. And then on the top, once you've taken your, your outer bodice off, you would see a, a camisole, which is to protect the, uh, the outer layers from the corset underneath. So take the camisole off and there's your corset, which is what we can see here. And then underneath the corset, to protect the corset from sweat because they were harder to, to wash than all of these lovely white undergarments that would laundered, get laundered about, about once a fortnight. Um, then underneath there, you would find your chemise. So this was like um, a, a, a cotton dress um, that would go down to your knees and then underneath all of this would be your drawers, uh, your pants basically. Lovely big bloomers reaching to your knees, usually crotchless because let's face it, once you've got all of those layers on, you don't really want to be faffing about going to the loo.